So Janos, you are here uh, after a short time. So what's your feeling from Prague after two gigs? In I row? always, I always love it. Good crowd, good people. Yeah, pretty town, epic town. So uh, you have a new album. So it's um, very obvious that uh, all for do tour. So you should do also something your own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's a great album, by the way. Thank so you. Congratulations Thank you. and. Uh, so it's uh, on a key recording, so how did you meet with the Christian? Maybe um, I met Christian Loeffler on tour somewhere and I spoke to him, liked him. And um, yeah, and then I wrote, wrote the album and then I sent it out to a few labels and one of them was Key Records. And uh, I got really pos positive response for them straight away. So, so which labels did you send also? Uh, That's a good question, huh? Yeah. Some pretty major ones now, just no. Major they were w no, <laughs> <laughs> no, a few, uh, but you no, know, no, some no, there, no, under, under there was uh, interest from many, but uh, um, Key Records was the most interested ones, and I also felt uh, like, and I also felt it, uh, it worked aesthetically. So, mm. uh, did you have some your own wish to release somewhere, which was something your heart to release? I just wanted to release something under my own name. I know I, it, it was just bound to happen you know I haven't done anything under my own name until now so it so was uh, it was about time first album is very dancey very happy playful yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah playful definitely yeah and uh, I love the sound it's changing every every song is different sound but yes yeah still very it's like me yeah. I don't really I don't just want like one thing you know I like a lot of things so I'm not really a club club person actually like I actually just love all sorts of music everything from country to classical to metal to it's amazing <laughs> hip-hop you, <laughs> you have very similar kind of vibe with uh, Christian also yeah? yeah like cheerful music yeah. full of love yeah? yeah full of nice energy yeah uh, very stimulating uh, I yeah can, I can say mm, thank you emotionally yeah yeah, so yeah I try to yeah. it's very important in this time I think yeah. Especially. Yeah, yeah, something real from the heart. Yeah, yeah, I try to be honest about what I do, and uh, yeah, and I that's why I make music. That's you know, one song is kind of like broken beats. Some one song is more straight and m happy melodies. You know, I I want to be all, o all over the place, like I am in m myself. Yeah, how how long you prepare the album? Uh, it's like one and a half year, I think, on and off. One and a half. Yeah. So qu quite a long time. Yeah. Quite a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so what, like what one sort of year, but that half a year was like time off in between that I mm -hmm. was like touring or something. So you play in the end more very petty stuff. Very yeah, yeah. Melodic, catchy, but still very beautiful, like angelic. I yeah, maybe. Yeah, I try not to make it too pretty though. I try to keep no, it no, still, keep nice, it raw. Nice. Yeah, yeah. The raw sounds there yeah, is, but yeah. the vibe and yeah. the melodies are yeah. very angelic. I try to quit. I try nice. to stop before it gets too pretty, but. <laughs> You know, yeah. sometimes it's hard. Yeah, do do just from what yeah. you feel like you're exciting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I start, uh, think. Uh, so what was your like in the beginning? Did you want to make music like in when you was child or? Yeah, I I mean I, I pretty much since I was eleven, I started playing guitar and making electronic music at the same time, with no equipment, no nothing, just really shitty. PC computers, living in the Faroe Islands with no equipment, no knowledge, no nothing. Mm -hmm. so Nobody was a producer, you know. Yeah. Nobody was collecting vinyl. Nobody, and so mm. like it was super hard. And you know, it, you just had to use what you have had. Yeah. Um, and one, me and my one of my friends, who was also a co-producer of the album called Sakaris, we were just always making music, playing guitar and rock bands, and then. Did you have and some then heroes in this time? You were like two. Yeah, yeah. It was Radiohead and Nafix yeah. Twin. Okay. That was it. It was pretty electronic. We always loved all the, you know, nice eclectic. Uh, stuff. I started listening to Radiohead when um, they uh, released OK Computer, and then they released Kid Day, and I really loved it because it was kind of electronic, and I was getting into the whole electronic stuff, also with Nafix Twin and stuff. So, yeah. So, and uh, when was the maybe your first feeling to do with Olaf or something? Yeah, like it was. Um, I met Oliver on tour with my band Block Group, yeah, and um, was he was our he was our sound engineer. Mm -hmm. This is before mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. career, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Uh, took off, and he was working as um, the resident sound technician at the venue downtown Reykjavik, where my band Block Group was always mm -hmm. playing. We mm -hmm. played there like once a week at least, and then we went. We released an album, 
and it was 10 years ago yeah um, 2007 something like that yeah 12 and then we went on tour around Iceland and we just asked him because he already mixed us so many times at the venue so he tagged along and in the van driving around Iceland and me and him kind of connected around this kind of techno music that was going on so we decided to meet up sometimes at his house he was living in a shed kind of like shared communal kind of thing you know with other people and I was living and they had a jacuzzi outside yeah. and some monitors inside then we went to his place it's made some like made some techno and then we went to the hot hot tub <laughs> together <It's for> film <laughs> with <here>. and <laughs> drinking gin and tonics <laughs> this is how it started <laughs> and then after that we actually made a band yeah so Chiasmos is one album so do you prepare something new like new album what do for next with Chiasmos do you prepare Chiasmos um yeah, n we have written, yeah, maybe one or two songs, and uh, we have some plans. We want to make another album, definitely, but we also want to do it like differently than our first album. It's which it's way? It, yeah, the first album came out 2014, so it's already a while ago. So we're practically we're way. practically new people, you know? yeah. So do you like more club sound now, more? Um, I don't know. I don't really know until we're in the studio, but I, I want to make it a bit more electronic um, Just because we've been doing it kind of pretty I, I want to do more electronic stuff But maybe it won't maybe it will just be piano and singing <laughs> yeah. who knows Do you plan some uh, guests maybe in the music vocal guest? Do you huh? do plan in some vo vocals guest in music? Or um, yeah, maybe we we always wanted to. We did like one song. We we did one song with Hugney, um, Icelandic okay. singer, mm -hmm. uh, a song called Zebra. Um, we really loved it, mm -hmm. and we want to. There's a few vocalists we yeah, really want to work with. Hugney is called Hugney Elson. Yeah, pianist. Uh, he's from Jatalin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he was in Guskus. Yeah, yeah. We did one song with him. So hopefully, yeah. So uh, what's your plan now? Uh, just tell me, just plan for... I'm um, doing a release concert in Iceland for my album because I was supposed to play the Iceland, no, Sona Reykjavik, but it was cancelled because one of the airlines went bankrupt. So they had to cancel the whole festival. No way. <laughs> yeah. No way. So, so uh, um, I'm instead going to do my own release concert. And then um, I just booked uh, Stimming to do an after party after it. So it's gonna be a good party in Reykjavik. Mm -hmm. You should come. Stim stimming. Stimming, yeah. Like a German... Stimming, yeah. yeah. I say stimming. Yeah. <laughs> you say stimming? But it doesn't have a SH, so I say stimming. I don't know. Is it stimming? Yeah, it's German. Yeah, it's German. No, it's ST. It's S-T-I-M-M-E-N-G. But he's... He he himself says stimming. Yeah, so you should come. It's uh, the so thirtieth yeah. of April. Thirtieth mm -hmm. of April. It's a Tuesday. He play, he play in Prague. Yeah, yeah. He play in Prague. he's great. He's he's actually one of the reasons why we make Kiasmus. Me and Oliver were really yeah, big fans. Kind of, yeah. And then uh, yeah, now he's my friend, and I booked him for my release concert. So that's life, I guess. So I just believe that we see each other again with Kiasmus. We always see each other yeah, yeah. here and there, right? Hopefully with Kiasmus next year. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. We haven't played in Prague for a long time, so... Yeah, it's five years now. Yeah, what was the place? Next year, yeah. Years, yeah. It's four years now. So thank you for interview oh. and happy birthday. Thank you birthday. for uh, yeah. listening to my rambling. Thank you. Thank you very much for your nice speech. Mic drop. <laughs>